I'm Jo Close. I'm lucky enough to be camped here on the banks of the Murchison River at Kalamunda Pool at Berengara Station. Um, I'm going to be making some lunch for the guys now and uh, I'm going to make some bread wraps. Now they're a great alternative to having to cart around fresh bread when you are travelling and camping out. And my favourite thing is instead of carting all the ingredients around to make bread, you just go to the supermarket and you buy a box that's got everything already prepared in it. All you need to do is add yeast and warm water and you're on your way to making bread. So you just need to get one of these little sachets and that is enough to make about a dozen bread wraps. So your sachet of pre-mixed flour and all the other ingredients all just pop into the bowl and you just need to make a nice little well in the middle and then to the flour all you need to do is add two teaspoons of the granulated yeast. Now this little packet comes with your bread mix so you don't even have to think about getting bread uh, any yeast to go with your uh, bread. So two teaspoons of yeast and to that we need to add around about 400 mils of just blood temperature water and the best way to test the temperature of that is to just stick your little finger in and if it doesn't feel hot or it doesn't feel cold it's just right. So this is about 500 mils here so we'll just use a little bit less. You just get yourself an ordinary butter knife and then ever so slowly and gently just bring all of the flour together and mix it in with the yeast and the water. This will take a little bit of time but once all of your ingredients are mixed together nicely you should have a firm dough. Once you've achieved that firm dough then you need to put it out onto a stable surface which is why I'm using this lovely little kitchen on the Cub Camper trailer um, so then you can knead it and get it to a, a, a nice consistency. Okay this has all started to come together and as you can see it's all coming away from the edge of the bowl so it's all beautifully combined. So now all we need to do is pop it out onto our clean, clean smooth surface and it shouldn't need any flour and then you knead it. All right, I think I'm just about ready. So once your dough has got to a beautiful smooth consistency, so that's lovely and smooth, just like the inside of your forearm. That's now time to be um, to start doing other things with it. So roll it out into a, a long log. Okay, so we've now got ourselves a nice long log, get a sharp knife and we cut it approximately into half. Just pop one of those pieces aside for the time being and then keep on rolling the other one out a little bit longer. And then once we've done that, we will chop it up into six pieces. Okay, now for this, we will need just a small amount of extra flour. It doesn't really matter whether it's self-raising or plain, it's just to roll the, um, the dough out on. Now most of us, of course, don't drive around with a wooden rolling pin or any sort of rolling pin in our kitchen kit to speak of. Sure, most of us do, however, have the odd bottle of beer or the odd bottle of wine. So any one of those will do. So all you need to do is get the, the bottle and roll your dough out into a nice round. Okay, so we've not now got a reasonably circular piece of very thin dough. What we need to do now is go and get our um, pan ready to be able to cook the flatbreads in. Okay, so I'm going to be preparing the flatbreads over the campfire today and I'm using the uh, hillbilly range of um, a camp cooking ware. Now this uh, is their large frying pan and it, uh, all we need to do is just put it over the top of the coals 
We don't need to put any butter or oil or anything like that in it. We've just got to let it heat up and that's starting to get hot enough now that I can uh, put the flatbread into. Okay, so now your flatbread dough just goes straight into the pan like that and that'll take a couple of minutes and you should start seeing the yeast activate and there'll be little um, air bubbles will come up in the, in the dough and once there's a, a few little air bubbles then it's time to turn it over and your bread's done. So it usually only takes around about uh, four to five minutes to cook a piece. Okay, so there you have it, flatbreads, straight off the pan, ready for lunch. So now all you have to do is get all your favorite toppings that you like and uh, turn them into lunch. Help yourselves. You're welcome.